Hey guys, I'm sitting here in my LS3 at a wave day. At least it should have been a wave day, but we were struggling really hard trying to get into the primary wave, but uh, <laughs> we didn't make it. Today I have something really exciting to test. I have a Starlink mini antenna with me because I think this would be really amazing to um, have weather, especially if you are higher, if you are up in a wave and so on, if you have internet connection. But of course also for live streaming, perhaps for a sailplane Grand Prix or so. It is awesome to have a better Wi-Fi connection, better internet connection. So that's why we are testing this today. Up to now I have installed the Starlink antenna here. That's a glass fiber fuselage, so glass fiber is better um, because it doesn't cover uh, or it's not conductive, so it won't cover the antenna completely. But I'm not completely sure if it still works there or if it really needs to be here below the canopy. So the first test is we will make a speed test now. Um, wow, now it is really good. We have 51 megabits per second download, 10 megabits upload. That's still good enough for live streaming a full HD video or so. Let's have a look at the satellite picture, satellite image. So this works really fantastic, satellite image without any problems. Yeah, and then the last test is to make a live stream. I'm not sure which program I'm using here, Instagram or YouTube. Hey guys, I'm flying Wave. Wave is shit today, but uh, I'm testing the Starlink. We are here in 1700 meters. There you can see the sun. And that's going on right now. We have 75, 70 kilometers an hour wind speed. And the wave is so crap that we can barely keep airborne. Wow, 180 live watching. So it's just a test for YouTube. Perhaps you can watch the YouTube video later on and you can comment how good the connection was. But I'm really, really happy with the upload speed here. And the others are discussing now if we should take some photos air to air. Connection is perfect. Hey, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> I think that's something we should test for sailplane Grand Prix final as well. The only thing is I need to put the Starlink... Um, I will put the Starlink here on top uh, because it's a carbon fiber fuselage in modern sailplanes. How much is my speed? I had about... Uh, I think 30 megabits per second up, uh, download and about 10 megabits per second upload. Big question is if I, when I make turns, circles, if it's also fine. But perhaps you can tell me if this works. Uh, I'm making a turn now. The connection is still there. And here we have the OLC. Yeah, the autofocus is not great. Nice. 
That's a steep one. Awesome. I think, guys, that's it for now. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. <laughs> This was a great flight today and especially the Starlink works really, really perfectly. I think I will just install it here in one of my gliders so that I have live weather all the time and I can also live stream from time to time. And perhaps for the Sailplane Grand Prix final, this is really an excellent solution. The hardware costs 400 euros and um, one month of subscription costs, I think, 40 euros. Um, for 50 gigabytes of data. So that's really okay, I would say. Of course, it's not for everyone, but uh, yeah, it's just something which is really, really great for gliding as well to, to use Starlink. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and then I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.